the multimedia book is an up-to-date electronic book sculpture, a magical and a stimulating journey through some of the most intense moments of human experience. I get to the page dedicated to the shift between printed and electronic text. I touch it and the page collapses into a completely different 3D environment. Suddenly, I find myself inside a city which surrounds me on every side, buildings, streets, squares, arches, corners, sculptures, objects, paintings of the apple, reveal me that I am inside the ideal Renaissance city. The user experiences and interacts with two revolutionary moments of human history and experience the shift between the printed communication 15th century and electronic communication 20th century. The Renaissance and the electronic age are integrated into one unique environment. This application overlaps two revolutions which have transformed the history of communication and in consequence human history. The interactive visitor freely explores the different dimensions of the two key centuries through the use of the K virtual reality theatre. The multimedia book in the cave was developed for CAVE, CAVE Automatic Virtual Environment, a virtual reality fully immersive interactive installation with high resolution stereoscopic images. This application expands one of the maxi page of the ongoing multimedia book project. A stone gray floor emerged beneath my feet. The street seems endless. It leads me from one corner to the other, through passage, ways and portics, from building to building. The rich ornamented environment together with the 3D music and the effect work on my audiovisual senses until I feel completely immersed in this epoch. Santa Maria dei Fiori and the Duomo of Florence are in real sight with fine details and meticulous facade. Their slight sepia color contrasts with the intense blue of the Mediterranean sky. Far on the horizon, I recognize another famous building of the epoch, Santa Maria delle Grazie. This building was built in the 15th century in Milan and is partially attributed to Brunelleschi. Inside into the refectorio, Leonardo da Vinci depicted the Last Supper. I go over it. I look around the building and enjoy the facade. Then I decide to penetrate the wall. Red wire frame line forming the inner architectonic structure of the church beginning to appear. After some seconds, the space is filled by the complete structure composed in red wire frame. I navigate between these wires the columns, which give me a real feeling of volume and space of the building. In the distance, I recognize the painting of the Last Supper. I navigate over it, take the one, point out to the painting, and I suddenly I am transferred inside the refractory. At the end of this space, I again see the painting hanging on the wall. As I approach the Last Supper, this becomes transparent. I touch the wall, and this becomes transformed into a 3D space. The Last Supper becomes real, and I see myself inside, close to the apostle. I can walk around the table and look out of the painting, back out into the refectory from the viewpoint of Jesus Christ.
pieces by artists of the caliber of Michelangelo, Alberti, Botticelli, Leonardo da Vinci, Brunelleschi are painted like mural onto the walls or buildings and become protagonists in this imaginary city which contains such buildings as Santa Maria delle Grazie, Santa Maria dei Fiori, Uffizi, Piazza Innocenti, Palazzo Pitti, della Marziana. In the actual real world, these buildings are spread in Rome, Florence, Milan, but here I found them in this ideal, unique environment, rich in symmetry, colors and gifts. What shall I do? I think for a few seconds. I can fly, see, walk, navigate. Finally, I decide to go to the aerial view. I fly around stopping on top of the cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, the Dome of Florence. I can see Brunelleschi's revolutionary technique. I move the wand slightly and the cupola grows up in front of my eyes. Suddenly, my attention is attracted by flying pages, printed pages with antique design, movable type. I navigate forward and discover that they are flying out from the library of Laurentiana, also designed by Michelangelo and constructed in the center of Florence. I enter the library and there I find the original printed press of Gutenberg and it's functioning as it was the 15th century. I can grab the type and the movable letters, compose phrases, lay them down onto the template, place a page on paper inside and print it out, splash, pages with Renaissance image illustration of heliocentrism of contemporary navigation and discoveries appear.
I discover a light blue transparent gig. The image and sound are intense. I fly. Everything becomes like a vertex. Suddenly, the space morphs into a different environment. I have made the switch from the 500 to the 2000. Page morph to disk, a highway of information streams pass by, disk, world, everything is turning in a high speed vertex, layers of network and landscapes appear, coming from all the directions, streaming toward different information nodes, hypermedia, networking, keywords, floating into the space, visible like the expansion of a drop of oil into water, there are no boundaries. Everything is penned into an open cyberspace, connected by electronic streams. This is the city of the 2000 existence between the inner part of a city. The microscopic work of the inner part of the city becomes a mega-universe. The application multi-mega book is primarily designed to run and the cave. However, capable of running on a number of different virtual reality platforms, including the immersive desk and simple graphic workstations.